Namaste. As many of you know, the health conditions of people, not only in this country, but all around the world, is in crisis. Statistics show that chronic diseases are on the rise, and we are told that there are no alternatives to the medical monopoly. At the same time, the medical professionals are flourishing. Pharmaceutical industry in the very same places is booming. To the credit of the establishment, they do confess that disease after disease has no known cause or cures. I want you to think about this for a minute because it is a significant statement. Go to, for example, www.asthma.com. What they are telling you is, we don't know what causes it and we have no idea how to cure it. Think about that. If you have a car that is broken and the mechanic tells you, I don't know how, what the cause of your problem is and I don't know how to fix it. But you know what? I'll have you go to an auto parts store every week to continuously buy something to put in your car. And by the way, you'll have to bring your car in every month for a checkup. Oh, why would you go to such a mechanic? Do you wonder why the medical industry is one of the biggest money makers in the world? I do not even want to call them health industry. And it's not only for asthma. If you search for the respective websites meant for any of the chronic diseases, you can see for yourself there is no known cause and no known cure. Then what exactly are you paying for? Now I don't even want to go into the misdiagnosis, side effects, malpractice, conflict of interest and the long list that goes on because we don't have that much time now and frankly that's not what my message is about. I do have some good news for you. What if I tell you that each of these diseases can be cured with no surgery, no medicine, chemical or herbal from the comfort of your own home just by simple and gradual adjustments to your lifestyle. Who do you think would benefit from that kind of knowledge? And who do you think would stand to lose? Think about that for a moment. The science I'd like to introduce today is called Nature Cure. It is the popular name for natural hygiene. I'm going to give you a simple explanation right now and I'll cover more details in other talks. I don't want to lose the attention of those of you who are already curious by now. What is nature cure? It is a non-traditional, non-medicinal approach to understanding health. It is the rejection of symptomatic analysis and instead understanding of an individual's level of health. An individual's health is not gauged by symptoms or lack thereof. To put it simply, Nature Cure facilitates the proper environment and conditions for the human body to operate in its optimum level of health. At the end of this talk, I'm going to give you some examples and anecdotes which you can reflect upon. See if it makes sense to you. We ascribe to the adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. When there is a need to cure, the healing should be aimed at the root cause rather than treating only the symptoms which appears on the surface. Disease is a byproduct of the violation of the body's many requirements and the only real cure is to correct these violations not to suppress the symptoms with medicines. Once you start practicing this approach, you will wonder how this simple wisdom has eluded so many of us today. Physical and mental well-being can be practiced by people of all faiths, financial states and walks of life. Our goal is to make this knowledge available to all who wish to benefit without primary focus on money. Each method 
is practical, natural, and very inexpensive. Folks, I'm not here to preach at you, so I appreciate your being attentive so far. I have presented to you a problem statement in the beginning of my talk and introduced nature cure as an alternative. I have made some grand claims. How do I plan to substantiate my claims? I will explain that if you give me just another minute. You might not have heard of nature cure up until now, but friends, the revolution is already underway. Our science, as mentioned earlier, was pioneered by my grandfather, Acharya Lakshmana Sharma, over a hundred years ago. If you Google practical nature cure, you can find this book published in 1933. That is before World War II. My family was already practicing natural healing and we were not alone. Personalities all around the world like Louis Cooney, Sylvester Graham, Herbert Shelton and many others have been involved and very active in this effort. I myself in my own lifetime have treated thousands of patients who had lost hope through the medical system and were returned to normal health through the practice of nature cure. My father, Ganesh Sharma, has had more notches on his belt than myself. It has been a family business, but certainly not limited to my family. I will present for you dozens of shining examples of real healers from all around the world. In this series of talks, I will share with you life-saving cures and treatments which any and all of you can benefit from. I had told you earlier that I will share with you some real life case studies which have had amazing results. But before I do that, let me explain a concept which most people unfamiliar with nature cure don't quite grasp. It is the concept of disease and its cure. We do not ascribe negative significance to disease or its symptoms per se. It is our view that disease is a natural process. It's life's effort to clean itself of accumulated filth in our bodies. The level of health is directly proportionate to the internal sanitation or better yet, hygiene. To give you an analogy, consider a boy whose main diet is potato chips and soda. He complains to you about stomach pains. He might have obesity and a host of other symptoms which a medical practitioner with a busy schedule lists and categorizes into diseases. He then follows to prescribe a set of pills to offset the effects of the initial bad habit. These pills in turn will have side effects which produce more symptoms, which further gets categorized into more diseases, and the cycle will repeat itself. And that is if the doctor is not too aggressive. In extreme cases, the test may come back with a diagnosis requiring surgery. We in the nature cure world do not prescribe pills, drugs, herbs, or anything else which is not or cannot be normally consumed by human beings anyway. We would tell this boy to change his diet and perhaps get more active. Following this advice would alleviate the many symptoms, if not all, and the boy can live a healthy life. Now I realize there is a simplistic explanation, but it's not far from reality. Whether it's diabetes, hypertension, heart condition, you name it. We have seen it all and have enjoyed taking patient after patient back to normal health. We have asked some of our patients for their permission to share their stories with you. And they have agreed. N. Goya tried medical treatment for his ulcerative colitis with no success for over a year he came to us for a natural way out 
and followed the treatment for less than three months and he was rewarded with complete recovery from his problem. Richard Early was suffering from diabetes for some five years and had to take insulin shots almost daily. When he had a cut in his finger, it did not heal for over a month. He made the wisest decision when he chose to give up dependence on insulin shots and strictly followed nature cure as a way back to normal health in less than two months. There are ever so many such success stories which we can share with you in my later talks. Our simple methods include diet, exercise, yoga, meditation, sun therapy, water therapy, etc. There are over 500 variations of treatments Nature Cure prescribes to patients. You might think, I can do these things myself, and you might be right. But we have done a lot of research into even these basics, which maximizes the results of each of these simple efforts. In our lectures and talks, we will cover topics like how to chew food, best ways to sleep, how to breathe, etc. These are all techniques to help you manage your own health. Stop paying for the seeds of your own destruction. And those seeds are not cheap. Have faith in the intelligence God created within you. And let us help you realize your own potential. If you don't believe in God, then have hope in the process which got you this far from a unicellular organism. That intelligence is far superior to anything man has made. Give your body a chance. You owe it to yourself. Namaste. Thank you.